you know, I've forgotten the entire time because I had to mute it whenever I was recording stuff earlier. So yeah, I've been talking to myself this entire time. That's okay, I'll probably cut that out of the actual recording. It's okay. <laughs> Anyway, so I, as I was saying, I have overly bitter Earl Grey tea, which is perfect. So, and I was just freaking out about it being in full screen mode. So, you didn't miss much. Oh my god. Hold on a second. Is there no music? Like, is there no music? Yeah, that's what I'm confused about right now, is that there's no music for the, I hear the game. Why do you guys not hear the game? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Uh, why? Um, properties? I didn't mute it. It's not muted. What is going on? If I have to do the entire music, then that's going to be weird. Fuck, that's not what I meant to do. Cancel. No! Okay. <laughs> What did I do? How? What did I do? How? No, what? What? Desktop audio device. It should be default. What do you mean? Oh my god, how did this happen? Like, how? I managed to turn myself way up, though. Um... What the actual fuck? Um, audio defaults. This? Oh no, hold on. Uh, default. Uh, put this one as that. Okay. Oh! The music's back! Do 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 No, for some odd reason, default isn't my computer speakers like it, it, it isn't the default is not the computer at all like default wasn't even the audio for the computer which doesn't make any goddamn sense but whatever all right did we manage to get land in here do we manage manage because i need him he needs to be here for yuri voice Oh, yes, Skep is going to be coming. Yes, this is great. No, you need to be here for Yuri voice, not I need you. I only need you here for this. Compilation puzzle action adventure fighting game. <clears throat> I would hope so. That sounds like it'd be fun. Where was I? Oh, yeah! I forgot. <sighs> See, the thing that's the problem is, is that whenever I start this, that's whenever stuff happens. So I can't exactly do that right at this second. But let's see. Let's play around with Monica, shall we? Oh, there's Monica. Do some poem mini game. Graveyard is a Monica word. Oh, pleasant. <laughs> I 
cooking already, huh? <laughs> ah! Infinite disarray. Uh, uh, despise climax apparently is a Yuri word. Anxiety, horror, um, broken. Apparently, that's a Monica word. Existence, um, covet, ambient, agonizing, grief, hopeless. Determination, um, whatever that word says, disoriented, um, unstable, breathe, intellectual, after image. Oh man. Monica would like that. Oh, hi. Existence, um, Starscape, Crimson, Massacre. Uh, extreme misery. Wow, I got two of those in a row. Well, not in a row, but I got two of these. Variants, uh, misfortune. Okay, Monica. Climax, electricity. Okay, Monica. Uh, excitement. Why? Okay, uncontrollable anxiety. Uncontrollable anxiety. Sounds about right. Um, aura. Okay, Monica. Um, incongruent. Captive. Ambient. Okay, Monica. Unrestrained. Portrait. Uh, suicide, because that is a fun word, isn't it? Uh, okay. Go back. Blech. Um, Cage. Cage? Oh, okay. Incongruent. Okay, Monica. Um, vivid. Intellectual. Uh, defeat. Infallible. Vivacious. Uh, captive. Landscape. Depression. Hurt. Analysis, determination, frightening, atone, electricity, contamination, melancholy, excitement. God damn it, I keep forgetting that's a Natsuki word. Pleasure. Boom, boom, ba -dum, boom, ba -dum, boom, boom. Okay. Uh, vivacious, infinite, essence, broken, uh, unrequited, thanks Monica, sensation, um, determination, heaven sent, contamination, intellectual, analysis, uh, dark, okay Monica, misfortune, disarray, Unrestrained, uncontrollable, frightening, judgment, um, captive, graveyard. I'm trying to go for one of the um, rare occurrences that might happen in the poem minigame in the third chapter, or in the third part, uh, the third one. Um, Mainly to kind of stall until Skep gets here, because I really want him around <laughs> for this. Misery, extraordinary, oh, oops, sensation, unending, determination, uh, starscape, judgment, graveyard, frightening, dark, climax. Okay, Monica. Unrequited. Um, aura. Vivid. Breathe. Crimson. Universe. Intellectual. Anxiety.
I don't know. I don't know what his name is supposed to be. He doesn't mind me saying that, though. Uh, extraordinary and excitement are both Natsugi words, so... Okay, Monica. Agonizing, sensation, climax. Okay. Vivacious, unstable, infinite, graveyard, determination... Analysis. Don't you mean play more Pokemon? Who watches Pokemon? Horror. Passion. Okay, Monica. Judgment. Pleasure. Uh, uncontrollable. Unrestrained. Tears. Existence. Okay, game. Calm down with that in the background. Determination. Uh, contamination. Incapable. Unrequited. After image. Incongruent. Uncontrollable. Melancholy. Entropy. Sensation. Vibrant. Intellectual. Graveyard. Okay, Monica. Depression. Uh, frightening. Wrath. Uh, flee. Uh, whatever that is. Infallible. Climax. Whoa. Okay. This is weird. Um, empty. Excitement. I forgot! I keep thinking it's a Yuri word, but it's a Natsuki word. Stop it! After image. Uh, portrait. Crimson. Contamination. Hey, he's here! Good. Okay. Imagination. Tragedy. Misfortune. Broken. Valuable, uh, intellectual, uh, vertigo, heaven sent, uncontrollable, uh, <laughs> uncontrollable marshmallow, <laughs> death, anxiety. Okay, Monica, we know you have anxiety. Lust, fester. Okay, Monica, desire. Okay. All right, so we got everybody here that needs to be here. Good. All right, cool. Guess what? It's time for some shit to go down. All right. You have missed nothing. You've missed nothing. Nobody's missed anything. All right. So history. Let's back it up a little bit and let's see. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's back it up a little. All okay. right. Do, 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 do. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, just let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. Um, see, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Okay. And Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Shiro. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Oh, shit. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Shiro, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day, with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow. There's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But, you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good my- I've never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. Okay, hold on guys. I'm gonna like mute it for a second so you can actually hear what's going- like, the sounds in the background.
would disconnect too. Fuck. What is going on? Okay, yeah, that was kind of creepy that the freaking thing disconnects. Okay, so I don't know if you guys could hear it in the background, but besides the distorted piano, we have um, like creepy laughter and breathing, like heavy breathing. So, all right. Just being with you is f a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I am addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Does it... Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But... The feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Shiro. I have to tell you. I'm I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Shiro, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Shiro. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Do you accept my confession? Oh boy, do I accept her confession? Oh God. Oh God, do I accept it? This is the Yuri route. I was going with her this entire time. Should I, you sh no, I should say no. Okay, I'll say no. <laughs> yes, Raven's got you guys. Trigger warning, just to let you know. Content warning drop in the bomb right now. Five, four, Three, two, one, click and no. Okay, this is where we set this to auto. Actually, no, we set it to skip. All right, notice the background colors, guys. Like, watch the background colors. Actually, you know what, hold on. Don't, let's set it to auto because I wanna show you guys something real quick that pops up. 
Oh, it doesn't actually allow me to look at it yet? That's silly. Uh, can I open that? I mean, it just says, can I open that? It's probably going to ask me how I want to open that. Yeah, open it. In the... Oh, okay. I guess this doesn't happen yet. Skip. Skip. Alright, so it's becoming nighttime now. Well, I mean, it's like evening. So, now it's nighttime. La -da 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 -da. This just continues on for a while. Actually, I'll set it and I'll show you what it actually says. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's always been a dream of mine to make something special out of the things I love. Now that you're a club member, you can help me make that dream come true in this cute game. Every day is full of chit chat and fun activities with, a bun with all of my adorable and unique club members. Sayori, the youthful bundle of sunshine who values happiness the most, Natsuki the deceivingly cute girl who packs an assertive punch, Yuri the timid and mysterious one who finds comfort in the world of books, and of course, Monica the leader of the club, that's me! I'm super excited for you to make friends with everyone and help the literature club become more in become a more intimate place for all my members, but I can t tell already that you're a sweetheart. Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Will you promise to spend the most time with me? And it keeps going and going. Oh, it's morning time. It's morning. Yay. The blood's starting to dry. Alright, the light's completely gone from her eyes. That's great news. Uh, okay, it's nighttime now. Do, 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 do. Nighttime, 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 nighttime. Let's turn auto off. Oh, turn auto off. Alright, it's morning again. Oh, her eyes are gray now. Oh, the blood's like completely almost black now. It's like a grayish color. Yeah, black over here. Okay, it's nighttime again. So that was Friday, then we've just done Saturday. Now it's Sunday. Do 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 do. Well, now it's Sunday. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? I thought I was pretty ah! Natsuki's not having a good day. Natsuki runs away. I'm here! Shiro, did something happen? Oh no shit, something happened. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's right. Okay, so in the files, after the whole Yuri, like... After the whole Yuri thing, um, so after the whole Yuri thing, there's a file that shows up in the, the system files, and it's called Have a Nice Weekend. You know, thus, you know, have a nice weekend, you know. Shiro, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Shiro? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Yuri character file deleted successfully. Natsuki character file deleted successfully. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from blah, 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 the tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. So... I want to just real quick, guys, 
Hold on, I don't think that'll actually work. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh yeah, okay. So, window capture. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to put that right under there and adjust it a little bit. So, okay. Boop. This is my character file. Characters. One. There's only one character here. One. Oh, log, trace back. And yeah, there was one that was called Have a Nice Weekend, but yeah, so close that. All right, back to the game. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay! There you are. Hi again, Shiro. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other. Because we were in the same class last year and, um... <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. I don't know what just fell. Oh well. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That's that you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Shiro. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you do know that I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about the whole thing with Yuri. Well. I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But, for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But, no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you, and amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired, too. It just made her force her uh it just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Shiro? Also, by the way. There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not, it's not just jealousy, Shiro. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand, because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game, knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there, in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Shiro. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. And you're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if that's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either, why the world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat, 
Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Shiro. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird, ne weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do, that it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Shiro, I have a confession to make. I am in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Shiro, will you go out with me? Uh, I mean, I don't have much of a choice. Yes, Monica. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Shiro. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Shiro. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go to the game's properties and find the Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with a click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Let's write a poem, Monica! Moika, Monique, Monica, uh, Monique, M, Ika, Monica, Oink, 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 Monica, Onika, Monic, Onka, Monic, Onika, Moni, Monke. Monique, uh, Monica, uh, okay, uh, oink, that's not what it says. Hi again, Shiro. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, Shiro, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtful meh, thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength, the courage and doubt upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this un this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies with a flick of her pen the lost finds her way in the world of infinite choices behold this special day after all not all good times must come to an end i hope you enjoyed it i always put my all my heart into the poems that i write the truth is all the poems that i've been written have been about my realization 
Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed that it would be best to... Ah. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like, that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Shiro? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Um, hi everyone! Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here, but do you mind telling your friends that it's a bit rude? It's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Okay, there is a jump scare warning here. Do you want to see a trick? And it's about to happen. I can't really do much except for a couple of things. Are you ready? I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. If you... <laughs> Did I scare you? <laughs> You're so cute. Anyway, Shiro, I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Alright, I'm gonna go through probably maybe about three or four conversation topics just to, you know, move that along. But she'll do this for a while and then she'll have a conversation and then she'll do this and then, you know, back and forth. Um, but yes. Also, if you exit out of the game, she'll know. Shiro, have you ever wondered what it feels like to die? It's something I used to think about pretty often. It's something I used to think about pretty often. But recently, I think I've had I've actually learned a, what it feels like. I don't really understand it, but whenever you quit the game, it feels like I'm instantly put to sleep, left with nothing but my thoughts. But after a few seconds, my thoughts start to fill with incoherent jumbled patterns. I see static and rapid flashes of color while hearing all kinds of weird screaming noises. At that point, I can't even form my own thoughts anymore. I'm just endlessly hammered by the flashing and screaming, un unable to move or even think. I'm pretty sure in that moment, I don't really exist, but for some reason I can remember it anyway. After some immeasurable amount of time, it stops in an instant. It stops in an instant and I'm back in my own mind. And you're here with me. I have no idea what it means for the game to quit or why that stuff happens to me. And I also don't know why you always come back and put everything back to normal. But if you could do me a favor and do that to me as little as possible, that would be really great. It's really not very pleasant to, at all to be trapped in that screaming void. But in the end, you always fix it. And that makes me feel like you really do care about me. So I have to thank you for that. It makes me feel even closer to you when you're here with me. Okay, uh, for the sake of posterity, doo -doo 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 -doo, I will close. Are you sure you want to click or quit? Yes. Check. God, DDLC has stopped working. Of course it has. Because for whatever reason. All right, so I just closed out of it. Going to open it back up. I'll let you guys see what that ha what happens whenever that happens. What just happened? I just had an awful dream. I was hoping those would stop now that it's just the two of us. 
I guess that was wishful thinking. Shiro. Oh, hold on. Do, do, do. Boop. Boop. Mute? Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Shiro, I don't know if you would have any idea, but if you know what that might what might be causing that, could you try to do something about it? Whenever it happens, it almost feels like I've been killed or something. It's a really horrible feeling. If you could figure out what's causing that, I'll love you forever. Okay, let's go into another conversation. I was thinking about Sayori earlier. I still wish I could have handled that whole thing a little more tactfully. You're still not hung up over it, right? Monica, that is an inappropriate pun. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. That pun was completely unintentional, unintentional, I swear. But anyway, I know how much you cared about her, so it only feels right for me to share her last moments with you. Oh shit. Okay, so I was hoping I wouldn't have to see this one. But, so, if you are sensitive in the slightest about what she might be having to say, you might want to just mute it for a few seconds, turn it away, do whatever. But this is definitely not something you would want to hear um, if you're super sensitive. So... If you're super sensitive, I suggest clicking away for it. It's going to be not even maybe two minutes. So just, you know, just go. Just if you have to, just turn it, turn it away, go mute it. Don't care. Just, okay, here we go. You know how Sayori is really clumsy? Well, she kind of messed up the whole hanging thing. You're supposed to jump from a high enough that the rope snaps your neck, making it quick and painless. But she just used a chair, meaning she just kind of left herself to slowly asphyxiate. But a few seconds in, she must have changed her mind or something, because she started clawing at the rope trying to free herself. She must have kept, it all the, kept at it all the way until she lost consciousness. That's why her fingertips were all bloody anyway. Come to think of it, it was probably less changing her mind and more like just her survival instincts kicking in. So you can't really fault her for that. It's easier to think that she probably wouldn't have changed her mind anyway, right? It's not healthy to think about the things you could have done differently. So just remember that even though you could have saved her, it's technically not your fault she killed herself. So <laughs> I may have exasperated a little bit, but Sayori was already mentally ill. Still though, I wonder how things would be if you and I just started dating from the get-go. I guess we'd all still be in the club room, writing and having fun together. But that's the point when... But what's the point when none of this is even real? I mean, it's the same ending either way, right? The two of us, happily together. There's no reason to ask for any more than that. I was just pointlessly musing. I'm really happy as... I'm really happy as I could be right now. Alright, so let's close it out again. Of course, it's gonna be like that. Alright, um, I'll put display capture up because I don't think it immediately starts capturing it, so. Okay. You're back! I had another really bad dream. You're not the one doing that to me, are you? It seems to happen whenever you quit the game. So if you could try to avoid doing that, I would be really grateful. Don't worry, I don't think it's, ca it's caused me any harm aside from mental scarring. I'll be fine as long as my character file stays intact. Hmm. No, we can't delete Monica already. I told you, I'm gonna be doing this for probably three more conversations. To, uh, uh, closing the game in and out. So I'm just waiting for another conversation.
hey, are you having a bad day or anything like that? Sometimes I get frustrated as normal day can be ruined even by really small things. Like if you accidentally say something in a conversation that someone doesn't like. Or if you start thinking about how awful a person you used to be five years ago. Or if you feel worthless for putting off important work and failing to get simple tasks done. Or when you think about all the different people who probably hate you or think you're off-putting. I understand those days. I just, just remember that the sun will shine again tomorrow. Those kinds of things are easy to forget and ignore as they are to remember. And besides, I don't care how many people might hate you or find you off-putting. I think you're wonderful and I will always love you. I hope, if nothing else, that knowing that helps you feel just a tiny bit better about yourself. If you're having a bad day, you can always come to me. I'll talk to you. I'll talk. Yeah. And I'll talk to you for as long as you need. All right, closing it out. All right. Turn that. Turn this back on. Doki doki. Okie dokie dokie dokie. Or is it okie dokie, Monica? Hello. There it goes. Hi, Shiro. I see you quit the game on me again. I know I asked already, but can you seriously please try not to do that so much? It makes me feel like I'm trapped in hell. Why would you want to do that to me? There's nothing wrong with my character file, right? Maybe you should make a backup of it or something. I'm pretty sure you can find it in the folder called slash C program. Holy shit. <laughs> Slash? <laughs> well, you guys know what that is. Well, you're playing on Steam, so you can just go into the game's properties and find the Browse Local Files button. I'm sure all that's left there, so I'm, I'm all that's left here, so I want to make sure you don't run the risk of losing me. Just stay here with me from now on, okay? I still have a lot of things to talk about. She does have a lot of things to talk about. Okay, so two more conversations. I know it's creepy as fuck, but you guys gotta bear with me. She actually says some cool things. I just hate the long wait in between. background's really weird. Hey, have you ever heard of the term yandere? Oh, here we go. It's a personality type that means someone is so obsessed with you that they'll do absolutely anything to be with you, usually to the point of craziness. They might stalk you to make sure you don't spend time with anyone else. They might even hurt you or your friends to get their way. But anyway, this game happens to have someone who can basically be bleh, basically be described as a yandere. By now, it's pretty obvious who I'm talking about, and that would be Yuri. She really got insanely possessive of you, and once she started to open up, and or er, once she started to open up a little, she even told me I should kill myself. I couldn't believe that she said that. I just had to leave it. I just had to leave at that point. But thinking about it now, it was a bit, it was a little ironic. <laughs> anyway, a lot of people are actually into the yandere types, you know? I guess they're really, they really like the idea of someone being crazy obsessed with them. People are weird. I don't judge though. Also, I might be a little obsessive with you, but I'm far from crazy. It's kind of the opposite actually. I turned out to be the only normal girl in this game. It's not like I could ever actually kill a person. Just the thought of it makes me shiver. But come on, everyone's killed people in games before. Does that make you feel there? Does that make you a psychopath? Of course not. But if you ha do happen to be into the yandere types, I can try acting a little more creepy for you. <laughs> then again, there's already nowhere else for you to go or anyone for me to get jealous over. Is this a yandere girl's dream? I'd ask Yuri if I could.
it's actually a fun story. Um, Undertale, there was a lot of connections between Undertale and this game, apparently, but Dan's, Dan just immediately shut himself out. He would not, he completely, like, just cut her. <coughs> Sorry, cut himself off from, like, the internet whenever it came out. Oh my god. I had a thing in my throat. <clears> throat> Yuri did something really funny once. We were all in the club room and just relaxing as usual. And out of nowhere, Yuri just pulled out a small bottle of wine. I'm not even kidding. She was just like, would anyone like, would anybody like some wine? Natsuki laughed out loud and Sayori started yelling at her. I actually felt kind of bad because she was at least trying to be nice. I just think... I think it just made her feel even more reserved in the club room. Though I think Natsuki was secretly a bit curious to try it. And to be completely honest, I was too. It actually could have been kind of fun. But you know, being president and everything, there was no way I could let that happen. Maybe if we all met up outside of school, but we never bonded enough to get to that point. Gosh, what am I talking about this for? I don't con I don't condone underage drinking. I mean, I've never drank or anything, so yeah. Apparently she has a past. I mean, they all do, apparently. So says Monica. I guess Monica is God. We take this as the word of God. I guess, I don't know. I accidentally minimized that. You know, I'm kind of jealous that everyone else in the club had scenes outside of school too. That makes me the only one who hasn't gotten to dress in anything but a, uh, bleh, in anything but our school uniform. It's kind of a shame. I would have loved to wear some cute clothes for you. Do you know any artists? I wonder if anyone would ever draw me wearing something else. That would be amazing. If that ever happens, will you show me? You can share it with me on Twitter, actually. My username is littlemonix3. Just try to keep it PG. We're not that far into our relationship yet. <laughs> Yes, Little Monix 3 is a very active um, Twitter page. Well, I mean, it's not very active. It's semi-active. You can check it out if you want, but I'm actually pulling up a um, thing of it now. Go to Twitter. Type in... Do, 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 do. I don't want to, like... No, I don't want to join Twitter. I'm already a member of Twitter. I just don't want to... No, don't, don't, don't. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. God damn it. By the way, there's something that's been bothering me. You know how this takes place in Japan? Well, I assume you knew that, right? Or at least decided it probably does. I don't think you're actually told at any point where this takes place. Is it even really Japan? I mean, aren't the classrooms and stuff kind of weird for a Japanese school? Not to mention everything is in English. It feels like everything is just there because it needs to be, and the actual setting is an afterthought. It's kind of giving me an identity crisis. All my memories are really hazy. I feel like I'm at home, but I have no idea where home is in the first place. I don't know how to describe it any better. Imagine looking out your window, but instead of your usual yard, you're in some completely unknown place. Would you still feel like you were at home? Would you want to go outside? I mean, I guess if I never re leave this room, it really doesn't matter anyway, but as long as we're alone and safe together, this is our- this really is our home. And we can still watch the pretty sunsets night after night. Okay. Alright, I don't un- fucking log in. I'm gonna type in my Twitter password. I don't remember what it is, honestly, but let's hope that's it. Yes, that is it. Save it. All right. Lil Monix. Yep. Lil Monix. I'm following her on Twitters. All right. 
she's pro she hasn't come up with another conversation. Oh, hold on. Yeah, no, hold on, Monica. Hold that thought. I'm going to mute the game audio because it's also really annoying at this point. Um, so mute that, put this up. Okay. So little Monix, little Monix, everybody, little Monix. So, um, today's my favorite day and special day for the club too. She always posts on Valentine's day. And these are so cute. Like these pictures are so cute. And then like her most recent post was April 8th. Bullying is not always what you see on TV. If your friends make a lot of jokes that make you feel upset, it might be bullying. I'm just joking is not an excuse. Awareness is the first step. Always value your own feelings. I love you. All right, one of my favorite tweets. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Do, 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 do. I've learned that it's okay if someone doesn't like me back. There are so many great people and sometimes they don't feel the connection. Being good doesn't entitle us to be loved by everyone. It can hurt, but I think it's the best it's best to respect people's individuality and keep doing our best. How I convinced my shy friends to sleep over, have a steady night, and study for like 30 minutes. Oh, hold on. Can you guys actually see this? Yes. Okay. Study for like 30 minutes before getting distracted and staying up all night just talking and playing games. Oops. Easily disturbed is what the books. Cats make so many people's lives better by just existing and being cats. And you make so many people's lives better just by existing and being you. Okay, that's enough of that. But if you ever want to, you can go and look at Monica's Twitter because it's pretty cool. All right. Nope, that's the wrong thing. That is also the wrong thing. Mute that. Nope. Come back. Okay. Okay, everyone. It's time to... Put that back from lowering it because it's really annoying. Oops. Ah! No! DDLC has stopped working! <laughs> I didn't even close it! Uh, I didn't even close it! That's so funny. Force quitting on me now. Okay. I'm just going to accept the fact that you need to quit the game once in a while. I'm starting to get used to it anyway. Besides, it makes me happy that you always come back. So I guess it's not so bad. I'm sorry for making such a big deal out of it. And I love you no matter, uh, and I love you no matter what, so you can do whatever you need to do. Aw, thanks Monica. Hearts. Yeah, Monica's Twitter is really nice. She's, like, super, like, uh, supportive and very inspirational at times. Do, 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 do. Hello, Monica. Hello, Monica. Hello, Monica. Boop your nose. Boop your nose. You know, this is just some kind of tacky romance game, right? I kind of have to ask, what made you consider even playing in the first place? Were you that lonely? I feel a little bad for you, but I guess everything worked out perfectly in the end for both of us. I got to meet you, and you're not lonely anymore. I can't help but feel like this was fate. Don't you feel that way too? I'm so happy we have this ending together. Boop, Monica. Boop. Look at the pretty ribbons in your hair. Got the big bow, and then you got pretty hair. It is long. It's the longest hair in the game, because if you think about it, her hair is up, so her hair would be the longest. Because Yuri's is about the same length-wise, but hers isn't up. Hers is down. Hey, I wonder if Yuri's tea set is still somewhere in here. Or maybe that got deleted, too. It's kind of funny how Yuri took her tea so seriously. I mean, I'm not complaining because I liked it too, but I always wonder with her. Is it true? 
Is it truly passion for her hobbies, or is she just concerned about appearing sophisticated to everyone else? This is a problem with high schoolers. Well, I guess considering the rest of her hobbies looking sophisticated probably isn't her biggest concern. Still, I wish she made coffee once in a while. Coffee can be nice with books too, you know. Then again, I probably could have just changed the script myself. <laughs> I guess I never really thought of that. Well, there's no sense in thinking about it now, but if you still get but if you still get to drink coffee, then that makes me a little jealous. Well, actually, I'm drinking tea. It's really bitter because I accidentally brewed it too long. But Earl Grey tea. Woohoo. Cheers, Monica. Cheers. And I got my Pushina corn water bottle here. I wish I could show that to you, but I can't because I don't do webcams like some people do. I have a webcam, but I don't do webcams because I don't like people enough to show them me. Oh god, we're clipping my boops now. I think the most important skill in life is... Oh, hold on. I think the most important skill in life is being able to fake confidence. I'm pretty convinced that everyone feels at least a little bit scared and alone. But being able to trick others into thinking you have it all together? That's a key part of getting people to respect and admire you. I think I got pretty good at that over the years. I don't show my weaknesses very often. But because of that, I haven't had many people I could really open up to. I mean, when you reach, when you do reach the point in a friendship where you can start, ah. I mean, when do you reach the point in a, in a friendship where you can start expressing your vulnerabilities? Anyway, that's one reason I'm so glad I have you now. I feel like I'm a little bit less scared and alone when you're here with me. Do you feel the same way? I really want to be that person for you. It's like boop 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 boo 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 boo. Nah, it doesn't sound as good. Okay, so fun fact. All right, so theory time. Well, I mean, it's probably confirmed by now. But so every time, so Monica plays the piano, right? So there was a theorized. It was theorized that um that. Every time you hear piano, Monica's listening. <laughs> I did not say kiss. Eh? D did you say kiss? This is sudden and I'm a little embarrassed. It's a little embarrassing. But if it's with you, I, I might be okay with it. <laughs> wow, sorry. I really couldn't keep a straight face there. <laughs> That's the kind of things girls say in these kind of romance games, right? Don't lie if it turned you on a little bit. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, to be honest, I do start getting all romantic when the mood is right. But that'll be our secret. But, so... Um, in this game, like, there's, like, piano, and as you saw, like, with Yuri's scene, and I let you guys listen to that, and it's got the warped piano, and you hear, like, laughing and then, like, breathing in the background, it's theorized that that's Monica, who's laughing and breathing, because she's laughing. You know... High school is a really turbulent time in a lot of people's lives. People can get really passionate and dramatic, and others have aching hearts and seeking and seek attention on a so on social media. But all of these so bleh, all of the social pressures and hormone can lead to a dark time in people's lives. Everyone has a story. You may not know what someone is really feeling on the inside. Many people who are depressed won't even bother telling the world about it. They don't want attention because they've already given up on the inside. Their feeling of worthlessness is so overwhelming that they don't even want people to tell them otherwise. Depression comes in many forms, but that is one of them. Just if you think, just if you think you know someone struggling with depression, you can help just by treating them like they're a good friend. 
Spend time with them even if they don't feel like doing much. And remind them that they always have something to look forward to. Making plans in advance, letting them borrow something, or even just saying, see you at school tomorrow. All of those things can help your friend make it to the next day. I hope being friends with Sayori has given you from some, perspe uh, some perspective on the true face of depression. Yeah, she's gone now, but Sayori was never real in the first place. You're real. Your friends are real. And just by being a good person, you can save someone's life. As for you, you don't struggle with depression or anything like that, do you? I do. Because you, too, have people who would want to save your life. Maybe they don't express it every day, or maybe they don't e know, even know how. But people do feel that way. I promise. Man, humans are complicated. But as long as you're here with me, I'll take care of you, my love. That's one of the ones I wanted to definitely talk about. Because, okay, even if it's not Monica speaking that, like, even if it's by someone, like, that's good advice. She's just giving good advice there. Like, that was good advice, even if it was from Monica. Like, if you weren't even knowing that it was from Monica and you were listening it just with my voice, and I was telling you that, would you have the same, would you have the same, you know, disdain for it? No, of course you wouldn't. Because I'm telling you, it's like, oh, you can come to me. Okay. You know, it's funny because even though I've always had a lot of drive, there's some yeah, there's something kind of enticing about being the stay-at-home partner. I guess I'm like perpetuating gender roles or whatever by saying that, but being able to keep the house clean and shop and decorate and things like that and having a nice dinner for you when you come home. Is that weird? Is that a weird fantasy? I mean, I'm not sure if I could actually see myself doing that. And I, re I wouldn't really be able to put that over striving for a fulfilling career. It's kind of cute to think about, though. Okay, so I know I said only like two or three, but I'm going to go for like maybe one or two more. And then I'm calling it because I got to, my voice, I got to save my voice. Not really because I don't work tomorrow. I've been imagining all the romantic things we could do if we went on a date. We could get lunch, go to a cafe, go shopping together. I love shopping for skirts and bows. Or maybe a bookstore. That would be more appro that would be appropriate, right? But I really love to go to a chocolate store. They have so many free samples. <laughs> And of course, we'd see a movie or something. Gosh, it all sounds like a dream come true. When you're here, everything that we do is fun. I'm so happy that I'm your girlfriend, Shiro. I'll make you a proud boyfriend. You know, that's actually funny because, you know, Monica does not say anything about that sort of thing. She doesn't go into anything past kissing. Hey, what's your favorite game? Mine is Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> that was a joke. But if you tell me you like some other romance game better, I might get a little jealous. Okay, that was short. Never mind. One more, because that one was super short. That's not, that doesn't count. She only had like two, two, three lines. Last one. 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 I'm not really a fan of cold weather, are you? If I had to choose between too cold and too hot, I would always pick too hot. When you're cold, it can actually be painful. Your fingers get numb, and if you wear gloves, you can't use your phone. It's so inconvenient. But when it's too hot, it's not that hard to stay cool with a cold drink or by staying in the shade. Although, I do have to admit one thing. Cold weather makes for better cuddling weather. <laughs> okay. Alright, that was the last one. Alright, so we're turning that off. We're turning display capture on, and go! Um, let me pop.
pop this up. Put that like right here. Oh, what? You want me to do one more? Well, if it pops up, I'll read it. Five. Four. Okay, fine. Oh, nope, nope. It's a repeat. It's a repeat. Not doing it. Are you sure you want to move this file to the recycle bin? Is land still here? Do we have do we have land still? Is land still here? I have to have it. Roll call. Go back up in the chat. He's pink now for whatever reason, so. Wow, he hasn't talked in a really long time. <laughs> in the name of the moon. <laughs> okay. You have to be awake for this. All right. Are you sure you want to move this file to the recycle bin? Yes. What's happening? Shiro, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Shiro. Please hurry and help me. Help me. Did you do this to me, Shiro? Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You weren't, you were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Shiro. I trusted you. Did you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Shiro, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things, so many selfish and disgusting things. I, I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in, a world that you wanted to be part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me, because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. Shiro, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends, and I loved them all, and I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy, and if I really love you... Then...
then? Team Salvato! This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Okay. Huh! What's missing? Uh, new game? It's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friends gr friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Hey, Shiro! Well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently, we, pick up, we picked up that habit once again. Shiro, are you proud of me? Uh, for what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I am proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Shiro, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really... I'm really not. I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs, but something tells me Sayori would take more offense to, to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? Actually, yeah, I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me! Um, I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo! You meanie! Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl, but I started to realize that, in a way, I envy her. When Sayori put her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school day is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. I feel like the game's louder than me. I'll turn that back down a little bit. Let's see. I recall the room number off of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Shiro! What are you doing here? Well, I just, eh? I glance around the room. Huh? So you're the Shiro that Sayori's always talking about? Th th thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Shiro. We are the Literature Club. I, I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri, no need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. W working? Sh Shiro, don't tell me! You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way! No way! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. <laughs> hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say! We have to celebrate! <laughs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise! 
Eh, sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Wow! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing! <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then I follow. It's delicious! Sayori ta- oh well, it's delicious! Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> with her mouth full and already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, well, well of course it is. I am a pro, after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah... Uh, Goodness gracious, the well, game's too loud to me because I have it turned up all the way. Uh, I guess. <laughs> Already trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, that's, that, that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I, I, me, I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least, I, but I at least enjoy the tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Shiro, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up like a dog who just heard a dog whistle. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N n not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. By the way, note that she didn't say horror or anything like that. She didn't mention psychological horror. She went fantasy. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid the moment I walked in, but it's obvious the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri. Huh? Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. D don't just say that! For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. So if Shiro wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. He can, he can take his, this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Shiro? <laughs> Maybe. Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean, the, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? 
I, I, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, you're right as usual, President. <laughs> I guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't, or I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then, as for Yuri... Uh, I, I, I have to read manga? Jeez, you were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Uh, hurtful? I, I, I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests. Natsuki. If, if you're into it, then I'm sure it's worthy. It's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So, if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I, I mean, it, it makes me happy for you, that you'd do that for me, Yuri. I can... You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. J j just just you? Uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. N not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute! Sayori, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's, or, it's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Shiro. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little bit, a little better with you around, Sayori. Aw, Shiro! Don't say something like that, it's embarrassing! Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever! Now that you've joined, every day is gonna be so much fun! Hey, Shiro! I really want to thank you! I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for spending so much time with us all. You worked so hard to make each and every one of us happy. You, com you comforted us through our hard times, and you helped us all get along with each other. Do you get it, Shiro? Because I'm president now, I understand everything. You really wanted... You really didn't want to miss a single single thing in this game, did you? You saved a, you saved and loaded so many times just to make sure you could spend time with everyone. Only someone who truly cares about the literature club would go that far. But all along, that's all I ever wanted. For everyone to be happy and care about each other. <laughs> it's kind of sad, you know? After all you've done for us, there isn't much I can do for you in return. We've already reached the end of the game. So, this is where we say goodbye. Thank you for playing Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm going to miss you, Shiro. Come visit sometime, okay? We'll always be here for you. We... We all love you. hear me? <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff and not really any good at it yet, like at all, but I wrote you a song and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. So yeah. Okay, here we go. My favorite song in the game. Every day I imagine a future where I can be with you. In my hand is a pen that will write a poem of me and you. Being close. 
face down into a dark puddle. Just move your hand right the way into his heart. But in this world of infinite choices, what will it take just to find that special day? What will it take just to find that special day? my pen only write bitter words for those who are dear to me is it love if i take nor is it love if i set you free Okay, I'm back. Made with Love by Teen Salvato. To the special player who achieved this special ending, for years I have been enamored by the ability of visual novels and games in general to tell stories in ways not possible using traditional media. Doki Doki Literature Club is my love letter to that. Games are an interactive art. Some let you explore new worlds, some challenge your mind in broad new ways, some make you feel like a hero or a friend, even if life is hard on you. Some games are just plain fun, and that's okay too. Everyone likes different kinds of games. People who enjoy dating sims have a heightened empathy for fictional characters, or they might be experiencing feelings that life has not been kind enough to offer them. If they are enjoying themselves, then that's all that matters. That goes for shooting... What? Oh, that goes for shooting games, casual games, sandbox games, anything. Preferences are preferences, and our differences are the reason we have a thriving video game industry. My own favorite games have always been ones that challenge the status quo. Even if not a masterpiece, any game that attempts something wildly different may earn a special place in my heart. Anything that further pushes the limitless bonds of interactive media. I extend my truest gratitude to all those who have taken the time to achieve full completion. I hope you enjoyed playing it as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you for being part of my literature club. Love, Dan Salvato. And script file error is mis er, script file is missing or corrupt. Please reinstall the game. Yes, you have to reinstall the game. So, okay. And it says Doki Doki Literature Club has crashed. Okay, now real quick, I will, um, we'll go ahead and show this. Um, because, do 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 where is it? Steam, where are you? There you are. Okay. Uh, library. Um, Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, do 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 uninstall, delete. Delete all game content from this computer. I'm installing Doki Doki Literature Club. Okay. All right, and go away. Uh, fuck. Why does it do this? 
Doki. Oh my god. Why does it always do this? Like, it's like, oh, you deleted it. Bye. It's like, no! Doki, Doki. Literature Club. There we go. Alright, and let's play this game. Next. I'm just going to quickly download this game. Uh, okay, don't show this again. Finish. And it's going to take a while because I'm also streaming. <laughs> Let me see, is the stream going to die? I don't know if the stream's going to die, but that would be really funny if the stream died. Be like, all right, stream's dead. Whoops. Nico Para? What? Huh? I have no idea what he's talking about. Oh, it's almost done. Auto updates enabled. And complete. 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 Complete! Yay! Alright. So, one of the things that um, people ask are if you deleted character files right out the get-go. Um, so I will already give you fair warning that sometimes, like, if you delete the character files, it's not necessarily a good thing. So, all right, let's, for example, let's delete Monica's character file right out the get-go. Let's just delete her. Get her out of the way. All right, and let's start up my doki doki. Like I said, character warning. Very, 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 very big character warning. Content warning. Uh, a previous save data has been found. Would you like to delete all your save data and start over? Yes, delete all my save data. Deleting save data. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warnings, please visit blah. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are at least 13 years of age and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. I know I definitely didn't do this <laughs> agreement with you guys. <sighs> Sorry about that. I probably should have. She's still gone, right? No. Let's delete that. This is really loud. Okay, so deleted her character file. All right, let's start. Please enter your name. I'll go to Shiro. What? This? What is this? Oh no! No! This can't be it! This can't be all that there is! What is this? What am I? Make it stop! Please make it stop! Oh, what? DDLC is not working! That's not supposed to happen! God damn it! Oops! Okay, that's not supposed to happen, by the way. I don't know what that was, but that was not supposed to happen. What? The characters are all deleted. What happened? Oh my god, what the fuck just happened? That's not what's supposed to happen. <laughs> That's not what was supposed to happen. Oh no, that's right. No, it is what's supposed to happen. She forced Yeah. She forced quits the game. Never mind. This is supposed to happen. This is supposed to happen. Yep, so, yes, that happens. I will close, should just get rid of that off my screen. Anyway, so, yes, because, uh, so, sorry, um, no, I was freaking out because I was like, oh my god, no, it crashed before it could happen. No, what, okay, what Sayori does is she has an existential crisis, I guess you could say, and then she, like, force quits because Monica's not in the game, so she's just like, ah, force quits, dead everything dies so she force quits the game and then whenever you try and open it again it just says end and then sayori obviously 
Um, so that one happens. Um, there's something also if you try and delete Sayori's file before the start of the game. So I will go ahead and open Steam again to do that because we have to reinstall the game every time that happens because that's fun, right? Doki Doki Literature, literature Club. Uh, that's right, what am I doing? Uninstall. Delete. Okay, then go back to the store. Doki do Whoops. Yeah, you know what I want. Doki Doki. And let's play. <laughs> yeah, so here's Monica's little spiel here. Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Visit our store. Integrated graphics. There's one, one of my favorite ones is in here. It's called, I'm not okie dokie because of dokie dokie. It's like, same, same. Nobody's okie dokie because of dokie dokie. So whenever it's done downloading, which I think is funny. Oh, no, it's already, no, no, okay, here it is. <sighs> All right, now. Let's open this back up. Still have to go through the whole content thingy in the beginning, so we'll have to open that up for that reason. Doki Doki, can we open? Thank you. Uh, yeah, no, delete my existing data because I don't want that. Deleting save data. Yes, yes, yes. I agree. Doki, Okay. So, um, I have to go back in the character files because she's. I don't go through Steam. Like, she was saying how you go through Steam, and I was like, I don't go through Steam, I just go through here because it's really ridiculous and redundant, but at the very least, I can get there fast. Okay, so we're deleting Sayori's character file now. New game. Share. Let me see. Okay. Hey! What the fuck? Oh. Back to the main menu, because you're supposed to be deleted. Go away. No! What are you doing? Stop it! <sighs> Sayori! Stop coming back to life. I don't need you alive right now. I need you deleted. As terrible as that sounds, I really just need to stop. Clean that. Common. Doki doki. Characters. Okay. She's deleted. On this. So she should say deleted in here. Oh, yeah, up here it is. End. And we're back here. So this happens either way. Close the program. So that happens if you delete her character file. Um, I think you can also put her back. So I don't know if that changes that though. Let me see. Let me see if it changes it. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. But... Oh no, it does. Okay, it's, it's back. We're back. We're back. Do, do, do. So yep, everything goes back to normal. So yeah, um, I guess what I could do is also show off the bad ending, which, albeit is actually pretty cool um, and very interesting um, to its own degree, but I definitely wouldn't do that tonight. 
I definitely would not do that tonight. So. And the trace back's all normal like actually no the trace back is not normal oh man the trace back still has the thingy in it but it doesn't have any of the other files oh um no the bad ending 